Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing that free FPS that was released last week, X Defiant. Is it a 1 out of 10, a 10 out of 10, or is there that happy medium? Find out more. But before you do that, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell if you want to see more videos like this. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last week, you'll see that X Defiant is one of the biggest free first person shooters that's been released in a very long time. Is it the COD killer? We're going to find out. There's been tweets from this is the best game ever to this game is trash, I want to uninstall it. I want to know if there's a happy medium and whether, you know, these tweets are over exaggerating a little bit. Now, I may just be some bloke with a YouTube channel on the internet and, you know, I may not have much clout when it comes to a say on these sort of topics. But I've been playing FPS from the age of 12 to 14, from games like Quake, Unreal Tournament, Counter-Strike 1.4, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, the list goes on. So I feel I have a little bit of experience in this genre to give a fair and honest review of the game. When the beta first dropped, my God, it was a breath of fresh air. Long were the days of Call of Duty, I was enjoying the crisp movement, the gunplay was absolutely phenomenal and I didn't mind the TTK. Granted it's a, it's a little higher than what you're used to but it's nice not to run around the corner a couple of shots and someone's dead you know and you, you had all the separate things of like the operators and you know their abilities instead of saving up to get kill streaks and you know that can really play on someone's head that they can't get that kill streak quick enough. So this beta, it was absolutely great. And then delayed. Delayed for over a year. And you thought, well, okay, maybe there's issues that need ironing out. So we wait. Release day comes. I'm excited. I've got my friend with me. You know, we're ready to rock and roll, waiting for 6 p.m., which sadly I will get to universal, you know, release times in a minute. And then the one thing happens that you don't want to happen. You can't find a match. The servers aren't working properly. Now I don't know what's happened in between and fair play to the devs within four hours. We were able to get into games again. However, this is my issue with universal release times. If you release a game at a set time for everyone around the world, you run into these issues. Now what could have happened was if they have released this at say 9am in the UK, by the time it comes around for America for it to be released, any issues that were in the UK would have been done and dusted and people would have seen that, you know, the game is actually really enjoyable to play. People watching this gameplay. Sadly, however, that didn't happen and we had to wait four hours, a lot of us, with the creating match screen for God knows how long, just constant and constant and constant, getting the odd game in here and there. But back to my point, this beta got me excited for first person shooters again, because I'll be honest, Call of Duty killed my soul a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I'm a slave to the franchise, truly am, and I'll admit that. I'll always get the game, don't know why, just happens like a lot of us out there so let's let's get into the thick of it how does a game feel from when i last had my hands on it completely different completely different apart from the movement the movement was still nice however it just felt like my assault rifle was underwhelming i wasn't getting you know the kills I was in the beta. I wasn't, I, I just wasn't playing as well as I did in the beta and I don't know why. I don't know what had been done, but something had been done. Now granted, there's hit reg issues at the minute and regardless of them, you know, being patched for the first fix, those issues are still there. You're still getting shot and you know, you go around the corner and you're killed when you're behind cover makes no sense you're getting hit marker after hit marker after hit marker yet your enemy is not getting down and it's come increasingly frustrating this game has truly turned into marmite for me you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it at the minute i can't understand what it is right it's like the, the best way i can describe this game at the moment is you get in trouble for doing something you get spanked yet you continue to do that. It's like Stockholm Syndrome. I am going back for more and more and more punishment. I don't know why. 
I don't love it, I don't hate it, but at the same time I want to play this game because I want to give it a chance, I want it to, to succeed. X Defiant is an AEW to WWE. AEW started off so great, it was fantastic and then it's just fell off and you know I want AEW to succeed much like I want X Defiant to succeed. I want this game to be fantastic and a true competitor to Call of Duty so I'm not bound to buy Call of Duty year after year after year and it's the same with Battlefield I was the same with Battlefield I, I want to love Battlefield and I do but it's it's a different shooter I'm not going to get into the whole thing with Call of Duty right now so you've got another issue as well sniper rifles now there are some people out there that will completely disagree with me when it comes to snipers fair play to you you probably use a controller I'm not gonna lie because using a sniper rifle mass and keyboard takes a great amount of skill with a controller not so much especially if you have that aim assist up strong all right now don't get me wrong quick scoping is a skill and sometimes you can see some magnificent shots i truly have i've done them myself the issue is i can be sniping down my scope and i can be looking down there i can receive several hits my health goes down to 25 percent i have no flinch and i'm still able to hit off my shots the sniper flinch is one thing that is 100 percent being talked about uh they've said that the flinch isn't working correctly and there is going to be a fix to adjust that flinch on snipers the next <laughs> Ah, uh, the next is a fun subject, which is your little bunny hoppers that can't wait to get their next fix. Jumping all around the screen, up and down, left and right, up and down, left and right. Since the recording of this video, there has been an update from the man, Mark Rubin himself. Bunny hopping has already been talked about. There is no penalty right now. Uh, however, there was an earlier test, but the penalty will be added back. So, <sighs> hit reg. Hit Rage, I have already touched on this. It's completely hit or miss at the minute. I don't know going into a gunfight whether I'm gonna win it or I'm gonna lose it. He has said that Hit Rage seems to be good for some people and bad for others. They do have some improvements coming, um, but until they understand why two different people have completely different experiences, it's going to be tough to perfect, but it will get better. There's also an issue for players who solely just do go for the kill they don't play the objective now don't get me wrong if that's your play style fair enough but when there's a match like escort and you've got three to four people just sitting back wanting to get those kills there needs to be a balance because the whole point of escort especially when you're attacking is to get that robot through the checkpoints to the next one now, I'm not saying camp the objective because on escort it's kind of difficult to do. You can do it when you're defending, fine. But on attacking, you need to get that, that objective done. I'm all for playing how you want. But at the same time, come on. The whole point of the game is to win, not how many kills you can get because it satisfies you and your ego. Sort it out. It's, it's, not, it's not hard to, you know, play as a team, play as an objective. This just shows what this game is lacking and that's a team deathmatch. If there was a team deathmatch, I'm sure those players would go on there. I would probably go and play it. Now you can argue there's hot shot. I don't think that's going to take off as much as they think it will. I personally believe a team deathmatch mode will solve a lot of problems, especially for the people like myself that like playing objective modes. Yes, there's ranked. I don't really want to play ranked right now. I just want to go in public lobbies, level up my guns and have fun with my pals. So after six days of playing this game, every day I've gotten to a point where I want to uninstall it. I've rage quit about three or four times and it goes from the bunny hopping to the sweat lords that only care about their KD, the sniper rifles, the hit register shoes, the ARs being completely underwhelming and just all round non-existent gameplay of the very first beta that I played. And I've never known an FPS that's made me want to uninstall this game so quickly as much as X Defiant. This game could compete with COD, but it has a lot of work to do before that even happens. So my rating of this game, I'd have to say is a 4.5 out of 10 until everything's fixed. Because X Defiant, it's defied my will to play the game. I want to play it, I want to enjoy it, but at the moment, I just can't. As everyone always says, and like I said at the start of the video, 
If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, I'm Elias86. Skull!